गाइस हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल एंड गाइस फ्रॉम ऑन टू दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट आर जर्नी फॉर डॉकर सीरीज सो फर्स्ट वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड ईच एंड एवरी कॉन्सेप्ट दैट टू इन अ वेरी लो लो लेवल काइंड ऑफ मीडियम वील बी गोइंग एंड कवरिंग ऑल द कॉन्सेप्ट आई नो इट माई टेक टाइम इट माई टेक अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम बट प्लीज 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 बे विद मी सो दैट यू नो वी आर एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड ऑल द कॉन्सेप्ट एंड वी आर एबल टू वर्क on docker uh, using real life scenarios in our organizations or wherever we are working or wherever we are making use of docker okay so guys at this particular point of time the only thing you need to remember is that containers are like virtual machines i know and i hope that you guys do have some basic idea of virtual machine what they are all about what is their architecture we will discuss on to our next video but at least for this particular time being just 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 try to understand that containers are like virtual machines although they are not virtual machines but they are like virtual machines and docker docker is nothing it is just a tool which helps you to make some containers that is it okay so the very first problem that uh, docker has solved is that the problem was that guys application was working on one machine but the application is not working or was not working on to another machine let's say you your developer deployed an application uh, but it was working on dev machine and that application was not working on any of the qa machine or any of the production environment or the staging environment uh, why because there might have been any n number of reasons it may it may have been reason number 1 would have been that you know uh, that the version on which application was deployed on on qa environment was a different version than the dev version you know uh the production needs to be upgraded in order to run that particular application let's say you are there is particular game named as i'll take example of pubg the one of the most famous games so pubg let's say version 20 was working on fine totally on you know uh, dev environment but but pubg version 20 when deployed onto the qa qa machine was not working why because qas were using an older version they may not have upgraded their machine or they may not have upgraded all the libraries or the java files in order to run that particular game or that particular application right so this was one of the first problems we'll discuss in detail um, just just now into this particular lecture only uh, with the help of real life example but the problem the very first problem was that you know application was working on one machine not working on another machine so it happened that you know working on qa machine also working on dev machine but not working on client machine so your client may get irritated at some point of time right so client will say that what kind of code these 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 guys have written or what kind of testing has been done but the client does not knows that you know you have not installed that particular jar file you have not uh, configured those jar files those libraries or those dependencies that are required to run that particular game or software or application right so this is the first problem and we are going to discuss in detail and guys this is how i'm going to uh, schedule all my lectures i will not make a lecture of 1.5 hours to 2 hours because even i tend to get confused at some point of time if as a user if i see a lecture of 2 to 1 to 2 hours even even i you know uh, get bored at some point of time so i'll try to make them short and crisp and one problem at a time in each of the videos so that even you guys are relaxed and and it gets stuck onto your mind in a very better and proper manner right so now let's get back to the lecture hello guys a very important question why docker is being even required in today's state uh, it is a very a uh, word that is getting a very much popular in the field of it industry everybody wants to you know containerize their application everybody wants to move to the docker nobody wants to make use of virtual machines anymore some are using some are not some are not using those who have moved forward along with the cloud they are making use of dockers even automation testers are making use of dockers uh, you know so there are number of things in which docker is now being getting used but why docker what is the use of docker so in order to understand this you need to first understand it with the help of a real life example right then i'll be able to make it uh, i'll be able to explain it to you in a more better fashion right let's say you along with your family just decide to go to a particular restaurant in which you guys order a particular recipe named as fried rice right 
you and your family enjoyed that recipe very very much okay now you enjoyed that recipe so much that you went to the chef of that particular restaurant and you said that you know can you please tell me the secret ingredients of your secret fried rice recipe because i want to make it as same as possible in my home i will make it in my home and i will consume it so that i do not have to come to your restaurant every time so let's say the chef was familiar to you and chef said that okay so these are my list of uh, some ingredients that are required to make this secret fried rice recipe right so he said that first of all you need two cups of rice you need two cups of veggies you need some carrots and you need some vinegar let's say one tablespoon or teaspoon right so you said that okay you went to your home and you did the exactly same things right but when you were preparing your fried rice at your home with your ingredients instead of two cups of rice you put or you entered let's say only 1.5 cups of rice right instead of two cup of veggies you added three cups of veggies instead of half cup of cups of carrot exactly your the brand of your carrot the taste the color the smell of your carrot was different and instead of exactly half cup you entered one cup and instead of vinegar one tablespoon your spoon was very very smaller as compared to the chef's table teaspoon and you entered you know let's say or you put a lesser amount of vinegar right so when your your fried rice at your home along with the same set of ingredients although you are also used the same two cups of rice veggies carrot cups and you know a vinegar teaspoon but that's your same is your the taste of your fried rice is not the same i hope you guys are getting it right why because it is not exactly the same things that he did it whenever you prepare it in your own way in your own method either your oil is different sometimes you cannot put each and everything exactly the same way the chef has put over there right because his ex- level of experience is totally different in, in in terms of making all these recipes and your level of experience is totally different so it will never happen that both of you would be having the same taste of the recipe that you have made so i hope you guys must have been getting a little bit of you know a background that what happened why the taste of fried rice even after using each and everything this in the same way it is still not the same so there is reason there are number of people who are involved the number of ingredients are different and although you are both are using the same way but the quantity is different or the size is different this uh, amount is different so there is some sort of difference this is why there is some sort of dependency over there as a result of which it, it is not tasting in the same exact manner okay so now in order to understand it uh, in a more better and eff- efficient uh, manner let's say you bring your own tiffin and go to the uh, that particular restaurant and you say to the chef that you know uh, i want to eat it in my home but you put your uh, fried rice onto my uh, lunch box or my tiffin or it can be anything or on a particular container right tiffin box lunch box container anything let's say you have taken that particular thing you have gone to the restaurant and you have asked them to you know instead of packing over there pack it into this particular container and now you have taken that particular container and you go to to your own home or to your dining room and you start eating it from there now in this scenario the taste will be exactly the same why because you both have used the same number of resources the rice is the same uh, as the restaurant the cups are the same the amount is the same everything is the same and now the taste is getting same let's say if you order a food from a restaurant the taste is exactly the same if you make it on your own right so your tiffin box your lunch box acted like a container right in which your your recipe was you know encapsulated or was put into it and when it came to your end to your house when it was delivered to your home and when you started eating from that container it tasted exactly the same right and this was i think your whole purpose so in now in order to understand it better in terms of real life in terms of it industry i'll move it to another example right so guys what happens normally that there is a particular let's say dev machine and a qa machine so in an it organization there is a dev uh, dev team and then there is a your entire qa team that takes uh, that takes care of all your qa activities 
so let's say you are developing a you know a particular gaming application so on dev machine the developer who has actually built that particular application or that particular game has already downloaded all your dependencies java files libraries these are also the synonymous kind of thing although i have you know uh, put them over here so all the libraries your jars your dependencies all your tools that are required to run that particular game all the extra or additional software that are required to run that particular game have already been installed onto your dev machine but normally what happens onto the qa machine or the person who does the testing of that particular software product is known as a qa kind of guy so what happens when it comes to the qa team qa team cannot have the exactly same set of tools because the machines are totally different the configuration of machine of a QA machine or of a person on which a developer is developing an application is totally different. He might be having 32 GB RAM. This QA machine might be having only 2 GB of RAM because he is not developing. He do not requires or he or she do not need to have so much of heavy, heavy softwares installed onto the system because they are simply just testing that particular application, right? They are not developing it. So they have very fewer jar, they had some dependencies, they have some other software, but not exactly these set of softwares. Not exactly these all things. All these things are required. Five out of five things are required in order to make that game run on QA machine, guys. Right? This is the reason why mostly it happens that you know um, something works onto dev machine, something does not work onto another dev machine because that person might not have downloaded the additional software that are required to run that application let's say you are installing a game let's say you are installing counter strike or pubg or any other thing onto your computer system right so let's say after 100 percent the file got downloaded from the server of the game right but when it started install installing it sometimes what happens it gives an installation error it says that you know this framework is not found this is not supported in windows x isn't this is not supported in windows y version you need to upgrade your machine so a number of things are required you cannot run everything anything from one machine to another machine and you cannot expect that it will going it is going to run in the same exact manner in the same way that you cannot expect that you know the fried rice which is getting cooked onto the chef's uh, kitchen uh, and the, the fried rice that is being cooked onto your home into your kitchen they are going to be exactly the same they are going to be of having the same taste and same nature same color some things may be different, right? Because you must be using it a different manner. In the same way, QA sometimes do not have all the libraries, all the dependencies, all the Java files, additional softwares, additional tools installed. So this is the reason what happens most of the times, not some of the times, most of the times it happens that some softwares are working onto developer machines, but some softwares are not working onto the QA machine. And this is the reason the concept of Docker or the concept of containers came. And what happened into that, that, you know, onto a container, all these things are, you know, put together, encapsulated and are given back to the QA team. So now what will happen? The same thing that was running over here will simply run over here as well. And if this QA uh, passes on that container to another one, that will also run onto the same fashion. Why? Because everything is already encapsulated. You do not need to download every time, every time, every time, any other thing, any other softwares onto different, different machines. The container is the same that container already contains software tools dependencies java files libraries so now what will happen that at this point of time if it the container has all these things in order to run that particular game it will run onto your machine it will run onto your friend's machine it will also run onto your brother or sister's machine right because it already contains in the same way again back to this particular example your tiffin box if if you eat it onto your home if you go back to your brother's home if you go back to your uh, sister's home and your friend's home the taste of the fried rice is gonna be same because the container is actually the same it contains all these required ingredients right so guys this is not the only reason this is just one of the reasons why docker and why the concept of uh, containers came into existence so that things can be a little bit at the same level in order to you know uh, all the dependencies that are required in order to run the softwares are met because sometimes some machines do not have all the softwares this game got developed let's say on mac os but you know, you know in order to run it you also need the mac os because there are some files that is only supported by mac os you cannot run it onto let's say on windows machine so there may be these kinds of small small things kind of stuff dependencies so in order to uh, get rid of them 
the concept of con container scheme now what is container what is docker we'll discuss very very soon